good morning teachers of um, you know, this Robocop Cup competition. So today I'll be um, roughly explaining to you um, how we've been uh, as a team for Team Ninja. Yeah. So um, this is, so I'm Nero, I'm Jiaming and uh, my friend is Niranjan. So our team code is actually 227090. So um, on the left is Niranjan and on the right is me. So um, you know, our team name is called Ninja. We got this idea um, because um, we believe that like Ninja is like quite still and like very quick and doing majority of their tasks. So we, we like the name Ninja. And um, since this was our first time participating in Cold Space, we, uh, both of us are Sec 2 and during Sec 1 we didn't have an opportunity. So we, uh, so this is our first time and first year participating in Cold Space. Um, yeah, so which means we had quite little experience because in primary school we didn't really learn coding. All of it is like a, a block base, but this time it's, it's quite different. So in our CCA, there are some seniors that help us while we had some issues because it's the first time some things we, we had a bit trouble dealing with. So this is our first time coding and they helped us quite a bit when we have like some storing issues or maybe how to move the robot, he, he roughly told us how to do it. So, um, we're, we're quite, we, we didn't really got help because, no, we, we did get help, but we didn't, we had like very little help because we couldn't bring our laptop to school, our parents didn't really allow it, but, um, you know, there are some other classmates that we uh, could bring now that we, we learn along when they are doing their work. So, um, we definitely managed to reach heights because we, we made it to the final in our first time participating in this competition. And, and we didn't really thought we would, but because it was like first time was like trying out and like get some experience, maybe we can do it better next year. But we, we made it to the final and we're pretty happy with it. So, um, so we participated in this uh, Cold Space Challenge and we had to use our virtual robots which is going to pick up some gems and get more points storing them as well. Um, so this is how what well, really happened. About the map, a um, few parts, we had like a bit of difficulty because when the robot just spawned, there was like an obstacle in front of it and it had to like uh, change direction. So with that, it's, it's a bit of difficulty but we overcome it and we made it. We overcame it and we made it to the final. So how do we use color sensors? So um, there'll be a video on how we are using the color sensors to pick up the object. Based now, in the how-to section, I'm going to show you how to use a color sensor to pick up red objects. First, you open the AI panel and go to World 2. Once you're in World 2, click Add New Statement. After that, you rename the statement. Click, Right-click it. Right click the statement and you rename the statement to write R red. Do remember that we're trying to pick up red objects, so this is the code that you can use to pick up red objects using the color sensor. Now I go to the right color sensor and put in the values such 200 red, 50 green and blue uh, and blue is also 50. After that we go to the actions and we change the key action to find object. We we change the, the amount the time for three seconds sixty. LED status should also be number one. Then we do the same. Ex we do the same for another statement called L red. Let me type it here. L red. Once we do that. We put in the same values as before, except that we put it in the left column. So, we put the same values 200, 50, and 50 in the left color sensor. Once you're done with that, we do the exact same thing in the actions bar. We put in find object, 60 seconds, and LED status 1. And that is how you use the left and right color sensors to pick up red objects. Thank you. So next, we'll be showing you our game. Okay, so this is the first two minutes of our preliminary challenge run. Okay, so firstly, we pick up a red gem. And I feel like the first two minutes are, are the most important for getting a good head start to a good score. 
So now we pick up a cyan gem. Another cyan gem. And we are at 150 points right now. We pick up another red gem from the double point zone. And we are at 170 points. We're doing quite well right now. And we get another red gem and another cyan gem. So unfortunately, when we deposit, we're probably not going to get... We're not going to get a super object. But now, the challenging part is getting to the deposit zone. So, now, the, the robot will no longer pick up any objects and will try to go straight to the deposit zone. However, this is up to the... This is up to luck as we were unable to find a way to make the robot go straight to the deposit zone. We get quite close this time, but again, we miss. A small glitch occurs here, and I am forced to relocate once. This is not good, as uh, this causes 10 seconds to be wasted. Okay, now we've started on our journey again, and it looks like we're going straight for the deposit zone, but the trap comes into play, and we have to miss it. Wasting further time, we get stuck in the swamp lands, and it seems that we are unable to reach the deposit zone in the first two minutes. So how are we going to apply knowledge gain to the real world? So there's some search and rescue robots um, in maybe, so during earthquake situations, like seeing one uh, in China, maybe some, some, sometimes it's actual dogs, um, like different kind of rescue dogs, but um, I've seen rescue robots as well because it can sense many of the things of very well using infrared radiation or ultrasonic sensors, some color sensors as well. So these robots are, um, you know, they're, they're um, supposed to go and look for people who have actually faced a disaster or like um, rescue those um, trapped. So after doing cold space, I understand how it actually works because um, look, it's, it's quite a similar process and like how, how it will make it move when there's like an obstacle you have to turn left or right we will learn more about it and after that task I think that more sensors will result in more precision and we can carry out the mission much better um, thank you teachers